Well, hello there! Welcome to the stream where we are waiting for something to happen. Do I even have sound on this thing? I think so. I went into Lil Sims' stream. Like Nancy Landgrab, and yes. She's like playing something. I don't know. <laughs> let's look. Let's not look at her. Let's. Um, I'm gonna um, play some uh, Sims 2. Uh, for 10 minutes. Uh, like so. And I'm gonna t talk about uh, my predictions. So, <laughs> like, in case I'm right, <laughs> I want it on camera, you know? Um, so, my first prediction is <clears throat> Are we getting Sims 5 announced at all? I think if we do, they're gonna like tease something really small at the very end uh, so I'm not gonna hold my breath breath for that um, and also I don't think I, I don't think that there's gonna be something that I'm excited about actually <laughs> unless they um, actually announce Sims 5 so I'm gonna be slightly uh, intrigued by that. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy watching whatever there is to watch about it until it comes out. And depending on what it is, I might enjoy playing it. We'll see. <laughs> so... I have an orphanage right over here. Uh, but I think that like the main big thing that we don't expect is something for mobile. I don't know why I just have this feeling. I've had this feeling all along uh, that it's going to be some uh, mobile crap. <laughs> the worst thing that could happen is if it's like, um, <laughs> like they do a blizzard and do, oh, we're releasing Sims 5 for mobile. <laughs> <laughs> like that would be hilarious. <laughs> I would just laugh about that. Um, uh, but I don't think that's gonna be the thing. Uh, hang on, let's announce on Twitter that we are actually live. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> Live now. Disgusting. Oh my god. Behind. The Sims. Like like a saw. I don't know. <laughs> Fantastic. Um People are, you know, people are like setting themselves up for, I don't know, I think, I feel like people are expecting to be disappointed because that's what usually happens. Uh, we get all excited <laughs> and, then, um, and then disappointments follows. Uh, I don't know exactly. They, they announced yesterday, like there was a video of some, of some dancers and the dance crew was like next kids I think it, they are called I don't know them uh, but when I heard it I just heard next kids <laughs> and I was like there's a dance crew called next kid well uh, uh, then we are getting a lot of kids oh so one of my guesses is we are getting they are going to like what if <laughs> they are going to announce that they are never going to like the sims 4 is going free free right so they are never going to sell us another pack they are only going to focus on refreshes that will probably be one and then nothing will ever happen again let's be honest like that's what always happens uh and then just for they're gonna be able to go more in depth with kids so 
<laughs> you know, they're going to spin it like it's a positive thing that we're not getting it anymore. Uh, and what if they say that they put The Sims 4 for free and they're just going to sell us kits, kits, kit, 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 and the, the, they would make good money of this with very low effort because they can just um, create clothes and furniture like forever. Like, yeah. Uh, CC creators do that all the time. That's probably good. <laughs> what if that is what they are giving us and nothing else? I said I was going to play Sims 2, but I was way, way too nervous or something. I don't know. Uh, this is anyway the orphanage that I have in my Pleasant View and it's just because sometimes my sims wanna oh <laughs> they wanna adopt a kid but <laughs> I just put this kid in and she will not stay <laughs> I've had enough of you guys I'm leaving home so this is a townie that I just moved in here and sh there she went. So yeah, uh, we'll see her when she moves into college <laughs> or when I can't click her. Is that, is it meant to be like that? Okay, well, I don't know how old she was. Did I note that? Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I'll go off my spreadsheet later and move her into college at some point. Um, oh my goodness, they all got a memory of her running away. See, that can happen in The Sims 4, and I'm sad about it. But I have The Sims 2, so I don't need it. And we are coming up on like less than 10 minutes until the thing. I'm gonna be very unfocused on the game. Uh, nobody can read this, by the way, so what I'm gonna do is this. <laughs> but we could actually move it a bit over like so, so that I don't, so that I'm not in the way. Like that, maybe. Maybe that's good. Hide the little edges. Good. that either. Huh, I don't know. Like that maybe. What happens if I do go back? Oh, still good. Okay, that's good. So, uh, how will I be able to remember to go here? Put this over here maybe. I'll put it on my second screen for now. I assume they're gonna play some sounds and stuff when it gets to it. Um, and then I immediately tapped out. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Um, Sheila that ran away have had a job. Well, that's too bad for her. <laughs> Well, most of the kids that I put in here actually benefit from being in the orphanage. My mouse is so dirty too. This girl, I also just moved in here. Like first I moved uh, Tawny's out because I, the, I ran out of space and then I moved extra teenagers in. Because I can't decide what to do, apparently. Um, yeah, that's, that's just how it is. Uh, so now... Little Lester Pleasant over here. He wants to grow up well and he has two days left. He wants to become friends with Lisa. I'm gonna go have him call her. He doesn't seem to care about homework. Uh, 
Are you excited? Oh, it changed. It used to say uh, reminder on, now it says waiting for the Sims. Yeah, we are waiting on you. All right. But we have six minutes to go. So what did I say? I I said like the probably not gonna announce Sims 5, but if they do, it's gonna be some small teaser thing. They're not gonna tell us much about it. Um I'm so torn, like it both makes sense for them to announce it now because it, like it's been eight years and they haven't been able to give us cars in the sims 4 and also um but also it makes sense for them not to announce it because like they are trying to sell us more and more stuff but in overall my prediction for this summit thingy is that <laughs> that we're all going to be like um is that is this what you thought we would be excited about <laughs> so um yeah i i cut off the edges of this didn't i not too bad <laughs> that's just too bad Wait, who he is calling Lisa? We also have a toddler in this little house. Uh so invite just invite her over. I think. She also becomes a child in two days and she wants to reach creativity level three. Uh did I So, do we have a xylophone? Yes, we do. We do not. It seems four. <laughs> I use, I like to know things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's save that and let's go over here then. I usually note, oh, it's too loud for me at least. Is it too loud for you? I think it's a little bit too loud. I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I lowered this volume and then I tried to, to compensate by increasing the volume for you. Um, and of course we don't, I don't know if that is a good level for you, but um, someone that comes in here might say something about it. I think it looks good in my equalizer. So. Three minutes to go. What do you think they're gonna do? <laughs> like, is it, is it gonna be them in that boring room that they usually stream from? Or do, will they have like a stage and stuff? Because they are gonna have dancers. I don't know. Like, will they have an audience on site? Because I haven't seen anyone like actually going. It's all been like this online event. So, well, maybe they have a cool stage or something. I don't know. I have tea because uh, there's not going to be no tea in this affair. I wish this could be a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. I could do this. There. I can have it like this. Man, it's loud. But is it too loud for you or is it just too loud for me? I don't know. <laughs> no clue. 
Hello, Simmers. Should we say hello? Hello. <laughs> Just to make, try and make this move faster, as fast as it can move. We are so excited to have you here. Feel free to turn on closed captioning for subtitles. Uh, do I have that on? I have that on already. Are they increasing the volume more and more? Because I feel like they are, and it's annoying. <laughs> and then it's going to be so silent because when it actually starts, because they had the, the music too loud. Probably, maybe. But, um, yeah. I didn't think I was excited, but now I'm pretty... <laughs> pretty... I don't know what I'm feeling. Like, I'm mostly curious about, like, I'm... What, what the format of this is going to be. Maybe this is just a um, announcement that they are going to have happenings like this, like once a year or something. <laughs> Maybe that's what all the hype is. We're going to have happenings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Simlish down, yeah, countdown. Because we're all possessed, aren't we? Oh, oh, also prediction, it's not going to start when this reaches zero. It's going to be like 15 seconds at least. <laughs> I'm going to keep making predictions if I can, uh, because it's fun. Because there's probably a twist at the end. He's his own grandfather. <laughs> Are they going to do some kind of video thingy? Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be a trailer. Like, no, we can't have that. What's up, what's oh, it actually up, started up? now. <laughs> all my Hello, I am Phoebe Robinson. And I'll be your host today for the first ever Behind the Sims Summit. Yeah, yes! what does that actually mean? Right, Tell me what that means. The next half hour is going to be all about The Sims. There's going to be sneak peeks, announcements. Oh, that's nice to know that it's a half hour of the also. The Sims Freeplay, The Sims Mobile. Plus, feature guests from our Sims community and even a special performance later on in the show. So if you're watching the stream, make sure to stay tuned. Wait, I missed everything she said. <laughs> for everybody. That said, I am so happy to be here. I am a huge fan of The Sims. Isn't it really gonna be something for everybody, even us Sims 2 players? It's just fine by me. Mm -hmm. like, I get it. You try living in New York during the global pandemic. All I wanted to do was delete all my doors and binge TV until people stopped talking about the new hobbies they picked up in the quarantine. No one wants to hear about your newfound love of macrame. Why is she anyway, like this? I love the fact that so many people from <laughs> so know. many walks of life have come together to form a community out of a mutual love for the different ways their sims can woohoo. I think that's hot. I'm into it. And I'm here for it. Where's the popcorn? Oh, well, this I'm must be it. like the I world's say, most ungrateful I job. I like the Sims like, <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, can you stop talking? <laughs> Tell us what we're gonna... If I can't afford something, no. all I have to do is enter the mother low cheat. But in real life, I can't just hit... Yeah, we know the difference. Oh, also... One of my predictions is, like, this is mainly going to focus on new players because The Sims 4 is going great. And, yeah, we're not new players. So. What's she on about? Yeah. This is a sales pitch to get The Sims? I'm so happy I As, can you know, everyone is here. You're preaching to the choir. Throughout the event to help keep things moving. We're going to have a lot of fun. So let's finally get this party yeah, started. Finally. By giving it up for our first speaker of the summit. Please give a warm welcome to the executive producer of The Sims 4. Are we going to have speakers? Like, is this a conference? For half an hour. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> How amazing is this? 
We have Kevin Robinson here with us to join in celebrating all things The Sims today. Also, I'm, I'm leaving the chat on in case someone wants to see it. I don't know. So happy you're all here with us. As some of you may know, starting today, The Sims 4 base game is free to play. This is our way of an open invitation. This means we're bringing more players into The Sims universe than ever before. After all, the more players there are, the more stories there are. And the more stories there are, the more fun we can all share together. So if you haven't met the Goth family, given your cow plant a name, we're hooed in a rocket ship, or gotten a visit from the Grim Reaper, now's the perfect time to come try everything for yourself. And welcome new for Simmers! For those in and are new to The Sims, welcome to The Sims family. We want you to know we're committed to adding new content to The Sims 4. But you know, we so already we knew that. Sims Deliver Express drops. So we're bringing more of that to the game. Is that as well? Feeling like you can't have a, an announcement of something that you announced a month ago. And more free updates planned that we'll share with you when we're further along. Today, we're so excited to share early concept developments that will feature in two future Sims expansion packs. As we look towards the future for the Sims, I don't want, want more expansion packs. We've been on. So let's take a look. I have already bought everything. I feel like I already bought everything. Yeah, okay. So what, how can they possibly expand the game? Are they even going to expand it? Or are they just going to add like a world where you can do something? That's a game pack. This is nothing new. I think. No. Okay. You said that you're going to announce two expansion packs. Where are they? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So much more to come. Yeah, I know you're trying to milk all the money from us, but you know, I I haven't still I still haven't bought uh, the werewolf pack, and so much was just I haven't the felt the need to. <laughs> I just see two new EPs coming next year, and was yeah. that a baby cry? Don't toy with me. No, no. Keep calm and I will wait until the end of the stream to learn more. Next. Are they actually gonna try and improve babies? That's that's something that I would be interested in because it's so annoying that you can't change the crib once the baby is born. You have to commit to a crib <laughs> before they are born. It's so silly. Who are you? People how much they know about the Sims. Probably a lot, right? Okay. Love the Sims. This is stalling. Have you ever played the game The Sims 4? I have not. Probably when I was He he looked so, like such a Sim though. <laughs> Sims 2, I played The Sims 3 and I've played for The Sims 4 on the PlayStation. I've actually voiced Now it's very 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 quiet. Video games. Can you give me the voice? Rubba -dee -dee, rubba -dee -dee. Have you ever played The Sims before? Yes, I have. You all have. of them. All of them? All of them. Even the mobile games. So what is The Sims language? Simish. Spanglish. How do you say, like, hi in The Sims? So, so. So do you know what this word is? Vidish. 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 Do you know what it means? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you! Can you give me... Oh, he speaks Simlish. Sim? I did not know that. <laughs> have you ever, like... Done anything bad to your Sims? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to lock them inside the house and just send the group of rats to them. It was my favorite thing to do. You've got way too much power. It yeah, it brings out the evil in you. Yeah. Would your evil Sim self does no. sometimes? No, 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 no. Yeah, if you've wronged me in real life, I'll create an avatar of you in Sims and then kill you. Or make you marry someone whack. Woohoo Yeah, person. killing them is way too nice. She's hot, right? Yes. 100% woohoo. <laughs> when you're given the opportunity to get in Grim Reaper, why would you turn that down? I mean, come on. What? what did he say? I'm not dark and serious. Like, are, is everyone okay? <laughs> everyone has said that they would woohoo the Grim Reaper. This man kills people. I know, something no, he doesn't. He comes and collect the souls after they die. <laughs> That's a huge difference. <laughs> you didn't talk to any other Sims? Why does everyone always keep saying that Grim Reapers Excellent. kill Talk people? Because they don't. Even that, like, serious dead like me, they didn't kill people. They just came and collected them. 
around the world. As players, creators, and storytellers, you make The Sims. Every day we're oh, inspired did she by ever the talk ways you express off a script. yourselves from billions <laughs> of hours us. played, breathtaking houses built, videos created, and unique stories shared. And as we watch the vast content coming from this amazing community, we're astonished by the incredible creativity, and we are truly proud to be a part of this team delivering on these games for you. For years, oh, come on. It's been 10 minutes, and all you've told us is there's going to be two expansions. And today, we're taking a big step forward with The Sims in recognizing and celebrating their contribution. I am excited to announce that for the first time in our history, we'll be working with a new destination for The Sims 4 players to download trusted mods and custom content. Oh no, this they're gonna break mods. Partnership with Overwolf, an all-in-one platform for in-game creators to build a new, safe, curated space for the Sims. Yeah, mods they're gonna break mods. <laughs> if you aren't familiar <laughs> I don't with like mods it. for custom content, the most important thing to know is that there are fan-created gameplay options or items like furniture and clothing that you can add into the Sims 4 to expand and change your game. With this yeah, new script mods. We're empowering creators we need that. the community by introducing a destination to host their incredible creations and allow even more players to download their content for The Sims 4. We'll reveal more about this program this holiday season, and when we launch, it will include content from some of your favorite modders, such as Hey Harry. The Overwolf team this is probably a pilot why they updated their in-game mods and custom content, and we encourage terms of you to service. across our official channels for the latest news and developments. That's whenever it Welcome was. Welcome to the Behind the Sims Summit. I am so oh, hi. <laughs> I keep not listening. How many lives we've touched over the past 22 years. We can't wait to welcome even more players to our community now that the Sims 4 base game experience is free to download. To say thanks for supporting us, we've released celebration rewards across the Sims 4, the Sims Free Play, and the Sims Mobile. Go check it out now. What? Okay. Maxis invented the life simulation genre and has galvanized an entire generation of gamers with its heartfelt, thought-provoking, and sometimes out there experiences. Any team would be proud to be where we are today, but we're not content to sit still. We are constantly challenging ourselves to innovate and find new ways for players to live life without boundaries. The Sims has always been a game about choice, and we give players the tools to discover new things about themselves and feel the power keep of keep saying that. We are all in on The Sims, and we'll be starting this journey with you, taking a look behind the scenes at many things we have in progress. Here's two! Yeah, they did not grow up with me because they didn't exist until I was 20. I considered myself an adult when The Sims 1 came out. So you know. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Yeah, we, we had a lot of fun together. <laughs> I'll give them that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but give us new stuff. Look, they always do this. They always drag everything out. And then, like, have us sitting around Hi, guessing. I'm Julia Victor. Tell us something I'm already. Work on this beloved brand. A brand that we are excited to continue to co-create with you. One important piece of The Sims' identity is the plumb bob. Now, to some, it's simply a reflection of a Sims' mood or a character identifier in our games. But you've shown us it means so much more. It's a symbol of our community and all the creativity that exists within it. Whether it's a player that is an aspiring This is what I heard. Got their inspiration to know EPs. An amateur musician sparked by Simlish Radio. Or they even up and coming silent. Break CC. First looks <laughs> and create him. The Plumbob has come to represent Something the about the Plumbob. Each of our players minds. A 
light bulb, if you will, that switches on at the exact aha moment, you can see a new possibility. A spark that's so contagious, it can't belong to any one person or thing. It inspires every creative mind around it. To help me showcase just how far and how wide the plumb bob and its spark had traveled, I'm excited to introduce a fellow simmer who uses her music and creativity to showcase her unapologetic and authentic self. Hi everyone, this is Anita here. Global superstar, I've never seen this woman in my life. That's because I'm old, probably. <laughs> People are asking for the Sims 5. That would give me unlimited Yeah, people are like, <laughs> who TF is this? I don't know. When you see these things actually happening, it's just crazy. But you know, I, I feel like I need to blame the internet for not knowing celebrities nowadays because I know who the click is, but I don't know who this is. <laughs> I guess that's what they mean when they say Simlish and music are the universal languages of the soul. Speaking of Simlish and music, we're going to switch gears to something really fun with this LA-based dance collective. Please give it up for the next kids! Alright. Yeah, they, this is... We've already seen this. <laughs> like, they showed us this yesterday. And they're really talented and all, but I don't understand what it has to do with the Sims. Like, at all. But I wish I could dance like that. They're really cool. I don't know if my niece would uh, allow me to. Maybe I should like try and replicate this in my living room without cameras. And maybe I will have a better... I don't know, just better. <laughs> So, like, they're sporting um, neon colors and, like, primary colors and everything is very saturated. And I feel like that's The Sims 4. They keep saturating everything. I, I, I guess to hide the fact that they're not satisfying anyone. <laughs> <laughs> they not go. They don't go deep. They don't do all the nuances. They only do primary colors and neon colors, and that's it. And then everyone was uh, really upset when the that kid kids only had like beige and stuff. And I was like, look here. Th this is what children actually wear nowadays. If you look, if you actually look at them. So. Yeah, okay. How long is this going to go on for? Like, they've spent 17 minutes of their half hour telling us two new EPs, they're gonna ruin CC downloads, something about the plumb bulb. So I guess the fourth was dance. I don't know what that means. And now there's something about the mobile, as I predicted. Mobile! <laughs> I mean, I'm the only one chatting in my own chat, it's fine. I'm using it as a... Um, like, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can write something in my chat, it's fine. <laughs> Over the past 10 years, The Sims Freeplay has been a huge part of what the is this? universe on mobile. And you've built incredible dream homes in all types of growing locations. I've never played this, I think. Or I, I tried some so Sims game and it was just a very, 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 very long tutorial and I didn't like it. <laughs> and lots of them. Whoa, okay, we get it. We need a glow up. Okay, what happened? Team have been hard at work making improvements to the appearance of yeah, that looks way better. Life stages for the first time since the game's release. We're excited to announce that this is available in your game for free from today. Plus, okay. Hairstyles are now shared across all genders. We'll continue to add more skin tones and customization options. But this is what is this like the yeah, The Sims free play? Surely that's not all. What's next? Replay. Wish you were here. It's time to relax, build, and live in 
your own super yacht coming early 2023. And finally, I need to check if if it's what I think it is because I probably uninstalled it. Sims replay. Oh, this is why I don't play it. Oh, because I'm I'm I oh, can't show you that, but I'm assuming it's on mobile and like I get like online 3D metaverse game Spring Valley. It's down here with like 3.8 grade. And a city similar to escape to to recreate their best life. And this is what I tried, I think. Yeah, okay, so the Sims free play is everyone is whining about the waiting times, and I wasn't interested in sitting around waiting. The Sims mobile. It just. been working on something new you've got to be we heard what our simmers want and now it comes to life from west side story to romeo and juliet we all okay the only thing i'm interested in is <laughs> can you have babies can they grow up and have babies on their own if they can then i i might play it but otherwise no i i i did play this earlier but i did not get hooked but i'm gonna i'm gonna install this shit <laughs> i'm gonna give it another chance i guess but i'm not paying for it because i have my sims on my computer and i really need it on my phone um, but there is still so much more to come, so make sure to stick tight. Main um, drawback with yeah, having it on my phone is just my the screen is so small. <laughs> I don't what like it. Take to be a simmer? You're going to check that out next in the Community Spotlight. Okay. People are still asking for the Sims 5. Where is Sims 5? Yeah. I don't I don't think there's gonna be something exciting. Like okay, they, they might like actually announce or show a trailer for for the expansions, but they sure are dragging it out. So I don't think they have much about it. Simmers are amazing. I actually feel like crying. We know this. <laughs> if you're watching, you're all amazing. The only thing that would have made me say oh my god about that was if I was there. It's incredible what <laughs> but the it would have been so weird. Do, and we love them for all of the excitement they bring. Alright everyone, this is it. This is the This is it. Well, event. you said that 20 so minutes ago. We revisited the past of the Sims, caught up on current happenings in the present, and now it's time to take a sneak peek at what's coming in the future. So to close it all out, let's bring back my girl, Linz. Okay, seriously, Lindsay Pearson back on the stage as she takes us by the plum bobs for a look into the future. Lindsay! Thanks, Phoebe. Yes, I am back because I always have a little something extra up my sleeve and I'm not quite ready to be done here today. I am so excited we to hear share you. today a first look at the future of The Sims Innovation. For me, this is an honor to reveal, as I started working on The Sims as a game tester 20 years ago, and now I have the privilege to help usher the franchise into the next decade and beyond. We are building the next generation Sims game and creative platform, reimagining the Sims you know and love with new ways to play. Wait, did, did you did she actually say it? <laughs> and I missed it. I was like, oh, what is she talking about? 
Okay. This future requires us to stay true to what The Sims has always been while pushing to evolve how those Sims think and behave, to push tools even further when creating and customizing. And to explore innovative ways to not only tell stories, but to collaborate on those stories. Okay, but actually tell us something. Closest friends across your favorite devices. The Sims has always evolved to reflect you, our players, right. and your experiences. Sims 5. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. On this game, working alongside The Sims 4 and mobile teams. And now we want to share this with you earlier than ever before, because we want you to be a part of our development journey. Exploring really? different ways to play The Sims requires us to commit to different ways of building it. Today marks the start of our journey over the well, I'm gonna tell her the most important things. Rotational now we chose project play. Because it's reminiscent of words it's very like important. Renewal, renaissance, rebirth. If I can't do rotational play, then I'm not likely to be in it future for the Sims with a new game experience anymore. Now I want to give you all a very early behind the scenes look at what we're testing and exploring. Project Again, Renee. Early, and just a few aspects of what Project Renee will grow to be. We start with our creative tools, a key part of our Sims DNA. We're experimenting with what's worked and where we can push further to offer more flexibility than ever before. Oh my god, a color wheel. They finally realize that even CC creators have created a color wheel, sort of, in Sims 4, and now they understand. This Whether so looks like they have really been watching Pair Lives, haven't they? With Project Renee, <laughs> you can make it easier to work together and share. You can choose to play or Come on, change the change the, the picture in a in a painting to a, you may want to a picture with, on the hard drive. Play wherever you want. So this is demonstrating an early technology hmm. test of how you can I do like supported devices this of your choosing. Shine on the floor. Same experience, different screens. Oh no, not on the now, this mobile. Is just a small taste of what Project Renee and the team is working on alongside but the Sims uh, and mobile teams. I'm go not going to comment years, on the sharing updates with all of you on the on graphics Renee. because I'm going to assume that's not final because that looked horrible <laughs> to me. So start to open up early access to Project Renee software to small groups over time. And I'll say it one more time before I go. This is super early for Wait, us. Wait, did we she actually say multiplayer? Someone in chat said multiplayer. We're so excited to take you on this journey. I do not want to play multiplayer. To keep up with all of this and any news about Project Renee, alongside news of The Sims 4 and mobile games, is to sign up with thesims.com and follow our social channels for any updates from The Sims team. Sign up so with thesims.com. Thank you for being here. All right. Wow. You know, I have yeah, those graphics, that man, <laughs> did not well, like. <laughs> they I looked mean, like a step then. back from this The Sims 4, the even. <clears throat> and The Sims 4 is such a step back from The Sims 2, in my opinion. So make sure to get it. Check out all I mean, this is what my furniture should should look like. This is the sofa. Look at it. Oh, dear. What are you on about? Are you actually going to do something? Oh, crawling babies! Finally. That took you a while. What is that? That's not... <laughs> could, could the babies finally like look like the parents? Please? Oh! That's actually good news. To be honest, that's actually good news. I wonder if they're gonna keep the baby state and have a stage in between babies and toddlers, or if this is the new baby state. And I hope it's the new baby state because the the current one, scrap it, remove it, don't have it. I need to go back. <laughs> what did she say about multiplayer? I need to look at this part again. What what was all this? What did she actually say? I am so excited to share today a first look at the future of The Sims innovation. For me, this is an honor to She didn't actually say Sims 5, did she? She said like ago. the new now, I have the thing to help usher the franchise into the next decade. Blah, blah. Why did she put all this fluff around it? <laughs> Imagining The Sims you know and love with new ways to play. 
This is the future of The Sims, built on a foundation of charming Sims, Wait. powerful Sims game and creative platform. Reimagining The Sims. We are building the next generation Sims game and creative platform. Reimagining The Sims you know and love. So the next generation something, something platform. What does that mean? Like if it was The Sims 5, she would say The Sims 5. But she did not say The Sims 5, did she? This is the so. future of The Sims, built on a foundation of charming Sims, powerful tools, and meaningful stories. This future requires us to stay true to what The Sims has always been while pushing to evolve how those Sims think. The thing that Sims has always been is uh, stealing each other's boyfriends <laughs> and fighting about it <laughs> and burglars. <laughs> That's what it's always been. Push tools even further <laughs> like drama. It has to be drama and it has to happen. Why do I keep playing her and then talking over her? Uh, there has to be drama and there has to... It has to happen without my involvement. Like, I can create drama, I can set it up, but then it has to happen by itself. If I am the one that actually has to go in and do the um what is people saying do do the drama thingies like the arguing and the slapping and everything if i'm the one that has to do that or it won't happen then drama doesn't happen in my game like or it does but i'm not surprised by it i might as well be playing with puppies and plushies because i'm controlling everything i don't want that <laughs> What is people saying? Are they... Are people... No, there's tomatoes. <laughs> Why is there tomatoes? This suck. Okay, people are upset. This is amazing. Thank you so much for expanding The Sims 4 instead of making me buy The Sims 5. What? What? They didn't actually announce the expansion packs. We're not talking about babies because who cares now? It's been eight years. Many of us don't even play Sims 4 anymore. That's true because we did. And like, I do sometimes. Okay, I, I go back to it. Like, I have this cycle where I think I'm never going to play Sims 4 again. And then I play Sims 2. And then I realize I'm a bit tired of it. <laughs> then I go back to Sims 4, actually. So, <clears throat> babies so bad babies tomatoes poop you guys are clown for thinking it was a sims 5 announcement isn't it though what is she saying but to collaborate on those stories or creations with your closest friends across your i don't want to collaborate on my stories like like sometimes i do but mostly i i am very happy with having my system in place and play by my system and um, I like to share what happens and sometimes people tell me what they think should happen and I go, yeah, interesting idea, but no. <laughs> because I already have so many plans and uh, mostly these suggestions uh, don't take into account my rules. So, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that, that would be fun. But it can't happen, or it might happen, but uh, that it's not something. It's it's not up to me. <laughs> That's how I play The Sims too. The Sims has always evolved to reflect you, our players, and your experiences. Has it though? We have a growing team focused on this game, working alongside The Sims Four and mobile teams. And now we want to share this with you earlier than ever before because we want you to be a part of our development journey. Exploring different ways to play The Sims requires us to commit to different ways of building it. Today marks the start of our journey over the next few years. Our working title for this new generation is Project... Look, like, the prediction came through. Everyone was like, no matter what they say, people are going to be disappointed. And, like, it's no... It's not strange or anything. It's like they do this every time. They give us so little. They just go, we're going to announce something amazing. And that's all we know. So uh, many people 
uh, that hasn't become bitter yet soon will be become becoming bitter because what happens is when you're gonna when you only hear that it's gonna be amazing you start creating stories in your head about what it's going to be and uh, in the end if if this goes on for too long <laughs> you you will like top your stories you, yourself because um, they keep telling you it's gonna be amazing so what could it actually be you start speculating and then you start believing your own stories and then you speculate um, <laughs> upon those and in the end there's only disappointment when you actually hear what it was like oh uh, yeah we're gonna have two expansion packs yeah yeah you have given us expansion packs like twice a year like for the last eight years it's it's not something that we were that we had to have a uh, hoopla about finding out because like we're gonna keep doing the thing we, we have been doing yeah but this what <laughs> what is this actually nay She's saying so little, she talks so much without saying so much, I keep losing concentration. It's a working title for this new generation, so, so it's not Project Olympus, <laughs> it's Renee. That was my writing instructor in, uh, when I was a little kid. By the way, she was called Renee, she was a great person. She uh, ran the, the writing school. Renaissance, rebirth. And it represents our renewed commitment to The Sims. And that's what we're doing. We're ushering in a new future for The Sims with a new game experience and more. Now, I want to give you all a very early behind the scenes look at what we're testing and exploring. Again, this is very early and just a few. It's very early. So I really hope that the, the graphics is going to be like more high res because like I'm sick and tired of everything looking like it was made for the GameCube. <laughs> like, come on. Few aspects of what Project Renee will grow to be. We start with our creative tools. Yeah. Okay. So they stole the. <laughs> the you can make the bed uh, wider from Paralives, but they they have it's it's not a. A slider it's like two sizes so it's inferior but okay a key part of our sims dn and they also let us uh, switch out the parts which is pretty cool i mean if that was if, if that would have been in the sims 4 i would have actually thought no i wouldn't <laughs> I, w I was going to say that if, if it was in The Sims 4, then I would have thought it was a step up from The Sims 3, but yeah, building-wise, but they focus too much on the building. Like, I'm not really interested in this, <laughs> you know? It's cool and everything, but that's not why I play The Sims. We're experimenting like, how, how is this creating drama? It isn't worked and where we can push further to offer so color wheel uh, material colors so you can change parts out that's cool they finally realized that they gave us that in the sims 3 and then they took it away in the sims 4 and people were not happy about it and so they decided that the next thing they're gonna build they're gonna have a color wheel as uh, it's just you would be stupid to not realize this uh to be honest like who wants to do recolors like 20 recolors just to have every color you want in the game that nobody does nobody wants to do that than ever before we begin with the ability to change not only pattern yeah okay this is not new though this is a step back to the sim the sims 3 uh, or like not a step back, but like they're bringing functionality back that we were missing um, to whatever this is. <laughs> and colors, but also the shapes of the objects that you'll be using when you build and decorate in game. Again, sw switching parts out. For years, we've seen the power of the community coming together. Uh, placing stuff freely. 
yeah, it's like without. I assume it's without cheats, and it's honestly so annoying that you need cheats to do this in The Sims 4 when you can do it. Like, why why do I need to cheat to do it? Like, so this is like also a logical step. Uh, so it's good that they're taking it because they would be stupid otherwise. Like, is all of this actually they would be stupid otherwise things? <laughs> because that's not very impressive, is it? gallery or shared your creations elsewhere being able to celebrate each other but you know what it's incrementing in the right way so i guess i should be fair and say like it's a step up so. work has been a long-standing tradition for building with project renee we want to make it easier to work together and share you can choose to play or create by yourself or with what is this publish your creation oh you can group objects and and uh Create a little br blueprint so that you can use it again and again. Uh, just like in the planet, planet coaster, coaster planet. <laughs> What's the na name of the game? You know those games, planet coaster, planet zoo, planet whatever. Uh, they have this functionality. So yeah, I mean the looking at other games and taking the stuff that they have and putting it in, in your game your close friends yeah it's entirely your choice no matter who you make it's it's not like groundbreaking like you know <laughs> when um, when i was a little kid <laughs> no i i just said i was a grown woman when uh, the sims 2 uh, the sims started but you know the sims it it was like nobody had seen a game like that so it was like wow what is this and many people that played it was like immediately hooked because like controlling little humans around that that is very cool uh it's very new uh and then the sims 2 uh the sims 1 they could have babies if they kissed <laughs> And then the phone rang and uh, they asked uh, if you wanted to adopt a baby or the other other sim asked should we have a baby and you got a little bassinet and that child eventually grew up to be like it switched out to be a child from the bassinet to a child much like in the sims 4 in the beginning um, and but then they didn't grow up from child to adult which was very annoying so there was like very little genetics involved so when sims 2 came and the children actually first of all you got toddlers which was totally new uh, no one had toddlers before and then they went to children and then they grew up to teenager and then adult so they could have children of their own so the new thing was like we can have generations and they made a huge deal about this and we were blown away about this thing <laughs> that we could have generations um and then the sims 3 came and we're like it's an open world you can go wherever you can just go knock on your neighbor's door very cool um, and uh, story progression we didn't have that before so like it, there was a lot of things that we hadn't seen in other games before we didn't have them before so it was very cool but so far we've only seen things that we have already seen in other games or previous games like it's cool and all, but it's not like mind blowing. <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, <laughs> the, the Sims Four gave us uh, you can like be on the toilet and read at the same time. <laughs> wow! <laughs> like when I got the Sims Four, I was like, this is not a step that all this all the other games are were like step steps up, like the Sims. 4 2 was, was so much more 3D than The Sims 1 and The Sims 3 like really felt like a whole new thing with story progression and everything but The Sims 4 just felt like you, you were stepping up until Sims 3 and then for Sims 4 you stepped sideways and this is another thing that we have that is not as good 
because it doesn't have story progression and they've only just recently added story progression in and it sucks you need mc command center if you want anything good um so now this thing like will it actually contain something that is actually new <laughs> maybe the multiplayer thing will be the new thing but so many people have said we don't want that we want you to be able to play wherever you want so this is demonstrating an early technology test of how you can play this game across okay so is she actually placing things in her house on her computer and seeing it on her phone as well because I can't decide like sometimes I want to play the sims in the in the bed <laughs> so you know sometimes I do remote uh, desktop to play the sims on my laptop <clears throat> so that I can continue my uh, my game but it lags horribly so, so I mean the, yeah that, that that's handy but you know I still prefer the sims 2 that that uh, remote uh, re remote desktop won't show it when I try so I have to walk over here and play it so uh, I know I'm not sure the appeal really is there for me like I don't need to play sims when I'm not here I can I can enjoy thinking about it and wanting to play it, wanting to get back to play it and not be able to just because then I can like make plans and stuff. Cross supported devices of your choosing. Same experience, different screens. Okay. Now this is just a small taste of what Project Renee and the team is working on alongside the Sims 4 and mobile teams. Over the next couple of years we'll continue- They only showed us uh, build mode. Or buy mode actually, uh, they didn't show us build mode. Only buy mode, and that's something that people have been criticizing Paralyzed for. They didn't show any gameplay, and this is even less. So we, to be honest, we don't know what it's gonna be like at all. Continue sharing updates with all of you on Project Renee. We'll share in progress work explorations, sneak peeks, and behind-the-scenes content, as well as start to open up early access to Project Renee software to small groups over time. Why am I being so negative? I said I would like to follow a progress of the game, and then I uh, immediately go to bash it. I, I guess... <laughs> look at how the chat ended. <laughs> the last thing that was said. What was the point? <laughs> Thumbs down. I don't know. And I'll say it one more time before I go, this is super early for us, and we've never shared information about our games years before they launched to the world, but we are yes, so you have. to take you on this journey with us. Yes, you have. Do you not work for Maxis? Do, do you not remember Spore? Do you not remember Sims 2? Like, who is she even? <laughs> the best way to keep up with all of this and any news about Project Renee, alongside news of The Sims 4 and mobile games, is to sign up with thesims.com and follow our social channels for any updates from The Sims team. So that's it for me. Thank you for being here. She didn't actually announce a multiplayer game. This is all fake anger, cause y'all switch up quick, so stop embarrassing yourself. Okay. This is what everyone gets for overhyping and getting excited over small updates. <laughs> Baby shmabies compared to the rest of the entire game and it's shambles. This entire thing was for nothing. <laughs> this is fun. I'm actually a little glad there's no Sims 5 yet because I got all the Sims 4 packs and I would have felt like all that money was wasted. Like I couldn't play it anymore because a Sims 5 would come into my computer and erase all the files in my computer and couldn't play it 
Paralives 2. Oh, I actually feel that what we've seen from Paralives so far is is better than what we, what we just saw. Anyone else? Like, that's what I feel like. So it's like Paralives <laughs> uh, 0 0.5. <laughs> Literally could have sent this in an email. Will the people who bought the game get a, like a free pack or something? Yes, we got the this deluxe kit. Pay attention. <clears throat> so many ungrateful people in the comments. I'm reading it backwards now. So you guys are clowns. I, I already read that. I think. Color wheel exist in the same three. The Sims community is so weird. I'm definitely leaving a dislike. Okay, then I'm gonna like the video. <laughs> Just to spite them. <laughs> the bugs after the update made the game unplayable. I was expecting you to introduce The Sims 5 instead of addressing the mobile Sims mainly. Disappointing, big disappointment. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought would happen. <laughs> you know? They trolled us so hard, but they did announce the Sims, like, whatever they were gonna, they did announce Project Rene, you know, that is the next Sims thingy, they didn't, why didn't she want to call it the Sims 5 though, that's what is confusing to me. The, I thought the baby's update was cool, I think so too, I think that's gonna be awesome. Uh, I might even extend the baby state, like time, from one day to three days in in game. Uh, that was underwhelming because I I feel like if if the babies actually do stuff and we can actually teach the baby something, then and it actually has an impact on the next life stage, then. <clears throat> It's more worthwhile having babies. I'm literally playing The Sims 3. Gave up on Sims 4 a year ago. Yeah. Project Rene is The Sims 5. It seems like it. I don't know why they don't call it The Sims 5. Is it because if this flops, they can still release Sims 5 later with like something else? Like if this doesn't pan out or something. If Sims 5 comes out, I will just wait so I don't spend too much money when it comes free to play. Yeah, you wait eight years and then it's gonna become free. <laughs> so like it's gonna re release in like two years or something and then you wait eight years. So in 10 years, like in, in 30, uh, 2032, you can play for free. It's fine. Is this still going on? I'm talking too much and not listening. Uh, so, but anyway, I'm really excited. I'm really, really okay, excited. Okay, so Les Sims is excited. What about everyone else? <laughs> oh, Venture, God, Cindy! Sorry. Shh. Am I watching a replay now? I'm not sure. Why are you shushing me? That was big. Don't was shush me. Right there, big. <laughs> what is happening? My bad. Right there. Everyone else is having it like a Sims 4 stream, uh, and I'm like adult just adult chatting. Do you know what I've been working on? Well, another, uh, pack like that's... PowerPoint. <laughs> I've been working on an Elder Pack PowerPoint for a couple weeks. I keep like pushing the upload of it because um, I don't know. Frankly, I'm just busy. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I'm stealing your stream. Um, What is this that she has on the stream? I don't, I don't know. Well, mostly this was fluff. I don't understand. I like. <laughs> they could make this so much shorter if they uh, if they was gonna fill it with fluff. Like I just want to know the facts. So what we got, like in conclusion. Oh look. I'm super underwhelmed and absolutely devastated. They are going to be this slow and not demand more from ES Piggy Bank, which could literally sell them so much more copies than 50,000 view people. I can't follow what you're saying. 
I was waiting for Big Sella, okay. So many ungrateful simmers. It's so sad. We're getting a lot of great things we wished for for so long. Yeah, but you know, there's something. Some things can actually come too late, you know. Uh, should I actually change this to my stream to Sims 4? Like, it's too late to do that, I feel, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because why not? Um, yeah, so we have been paying and playing The Sims 4 for eight years, so like them giving us one of the things like we were asking for wants and fears for so long and they gave it to us and it was shit so now they're coming on and saying like yeah you asked for better babies eight years ago so <laughs> because the first time i saw a sims 4 baby i was like what the hell is this what what is that that's a placeholder right and sure sure as hell it was like a, now they're they're switching it up eight years later <laughs> so it was a placeholder for eight years and and i just feel like i'm kind of over it you know like i i've made my peace with babies being bad and now they're finally doing it and i'm like that's cool but i'm not feeling it so you know can't we please be excited? You you can't like ask people to get excited. Like they um they told us this was gonna be amazing, so people will have like either you're going in with like really really high expectations and you're going to fall flat on your face because that's just how things work. Or you come in very skeptical because you been um you've been disappointing you disappointed so many times before so you expect to be disappointed again and when things look good you don't really believe it so you don't get excited because you feel like it's a trap they want you to be all Ooh! and not not see the cracks in the foundations anymore and buy a house that's gonna fall over, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, we wished for that, but we also got one some fears that we had wished for and then it was crap. So, like, them showing us like two seconds of something that we wanted isn't really promising us that it's really going to be great. If they, it, look, if, if it was really going to be great, wouldn't they have had a live stream where they were playing with them and showing us like this is this are the functionalities that you are going to get these are great and also here's this cool thing <laughs> like, like, that would have made me so much more exciting but this is like yeah we might do something good it it will look good because everything in sims 4 looks cute and good and also like it was re released in 2014 uh, because that's the graphic style they, they chose um, remember to leave a like or dislike they really be, be just doing parallels yeah 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 only they not doing it better <laughs> um Kelsey really lied about it being excited for money. Okay. I don't know who Kelsey is. Y'all are here on here telling us how much y'all love The Sims, but y'all cannot even fix your own game and fix bugs and issues the game has had for years. They're trying. You know, people are saying, like, we. We can't get The Sims 5 now. I'm not ready for it. I want them to fix The Sims 4 first. And I'm like, they've been trying to fix it for 8 years. Don't you think that if they could fix it, they would have done it by now? They don't want to sell a broken game. Um, but budget things and stuff. 
makes them have to. So um, we need cars. Never gonna get cars in The Sims 4. I'm sorry. They plan for for cars in The Sims 4, um, but they are never going uh, to show to give us cars in The Sims 4. And I will show you why. Oops. What, what am I doing? I, I will fix this transform. Um, reset trans transform. Uh, wait. I, I broke it. <laughs> wait, why is, why is it everything being weird? I'm try I'm trying to fix um trying to fix it. There should be a um transform. Here it is and then fit to screen. There we go. Then I'm gonna do no oh, no 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 like that. And it's my bedtime. <laughs> yes, I have a um What is I don't remember what I'm playing. I have an alarm to go to bed, so um yeah, I sh I should get my family to bed soon. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and have a loading screen because that's what we do in the Sims 4. We love that. How long is this? What What is happening? Why is it so long? <laughs> Come on. Maybe I am running too much stuff. Um, like these things i don't need those and this is update why do i have this twice overwolf we don't need that okay well the sims 4 is fantastic uh, <laughs> uh you need to have a loading screen for like two hours before you can play. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was loading into a lot. I did not want to load into a lot. It used to be... Uh, just go to manage world. Oh my goodness, now I need to load the screen again. Oh, I, oh, I just... <laughs> I just realized this is not The Sims 2. I can't... <laughs> I can't... Alright, okay. Well, let's go in here then, again. Hope this loading screen isn't as long, because I want to show you the roads. But I should have started with Willow Creek. I usually start with Willow Creek when I make this point. But we're, we're, it's fine, we're, we're gonna do it over here. Just a little. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we're going to show you, like, where is a car going to come in here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the car could go on this road, like, theoretically. But at this point, I'm not even sure this is a real road. Um, but like, it ends over here. Where does it go? Uh, it goes over here. And then we have a random sim standing around. Fantastic. And yeah, it, go it goes away there. So like theoretically, we could have cars running on these roads and, you know, having them do something with this lot that is not like even remotely close to the road. Like where, where do we put like the drive? It, it would have to be like the Sims 3 cars which I personally, I didn't like them. Um, 
So let's go and check how Willow Creek looks because that was the first world that they gave us and I I feel that I saw something in Willow Creek that you know don't I have a played family it doesn't matter let's do this family is she at home oh my goodness <laughs> these loading screens I mean I'm playing The Sims 2 and I'm not half as annoyed with loading screens in The Sims 2 because they're way better like you don't need to go places as often and uh, they're way faster and also you know how long they're gonna be on for because they're like a progress bar <laughs> but these loading screens they're like they did just awful okay so uh, bad example actually but you know you see the, this are the roads in the Willow Creek and there you can feel the the you can feel Sim City vibes in them. You can see over here that there is like a clear place that this would be where this the car would enter the lot. They they made a clearing over here. And so if you are building on the lot this lot, you could put a um, driveway here or some some way to route the car like it's it's like they thought about that also here it's like this is clearly where the car would go um which is weird because the lot oh i wanna what can i build now this lot is only edited from the world map oh she's not at home well because i think that the lot ends here that's why what, what i was going to say so that is quite annoying and I have this place here where I put the car which is strange of me but that's just the way that I did it so if we if we look at someone in over in uh, Newcrest we should see the, the same thing because it was still early uh, I don't know about I think Oasis Springs as well. But okay, let's make sure he is at home this time. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I don't know if this loading screen is going to go on for like 10 minutes or if it's like just ending. We, we don't know. In The Sims 2, we know. But my point is. Also here, like this, the roads are very straight. Oh my goodness, the rain. Um, and you can like imagine that you could build something and cars could go in here. It's not hard, like every, every lot is connected to a road. It's logical, it's what we're used to in Sims game and Sim City game. The car could go here, obviously. This is just a... Uh, um, decorative car because we don't have cars in the sims 4 but so, so my point is look in the earlier worlds they prepared for cars but in the later worlds they absolutely do not um so like like this world where is cars gonna go it's you, you can't have them like there are something that resembles roads here but when you go in you just feel like you're on a big grass plain and it's not really possible so like I feel like at some point at, at, at some world they they just they gave up <laughs> they, they said we're not gonna add cars so we're not gonna prepare the worlds for it like we we're just gonna plop things down randomly. Like okay, there are roads, but it's it's not the Sims. It's not the Sim City vibe anymore. So you can't expect them to to add cars, and I don't think they will. Uh, I I don't I don't see that coming. Um, like today. 
was probably the last chance that we had for cars, but you know, I would have been so, so shocked. Um, and you know, just in regular, like, transportation is not a thing in The, the Sims 4, like in The Sims 2. A car actually comes and picks your Sims up, and, or they walk off the lot so you know that they are going, but in The Sims 4 you just teleport. Uh, so, so The Sims 4 will not have cars, sorry. <laughs> And on that note, I'm gonna end this stream and go to bed, and uh, we we could... What is happening? How how do I go... How do I exit this hor horrific game? <laughs> exit game, I don't want to save. Um, should we raid someone? Um, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Vinay. Okay. Let's, uh, actually not. Is, is p people actually still playing? Do I have to reload my browser? Is everything... Aaron Siegel! <laughs> can, I, can I raid him? That would be funny. I don't know if I can. Can we try it? Like, I... let's try it. And like, until next time, have us a bit of a time. Stay safe, take care, and, you know, don't get hyped over nothing. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, bye.